Okay. Um, there, I'll I'll ask first for uh, Skizzy. Let's see. Oh yeah, um, Skizzy, I was wondering if you were gonna collab with uh, Phoebe Ryan anytime soon because I I really love the city, and it would be awesome to hear you like collab with her again. Um, what's up, dude? Thanks for the question. Uh, yeah, maybe in the future we will. We're we're friends, so. Cool. Yeah. And also, oh, yep. Yeah, sorry, you go. You can finish. No, I was just gonna say it's kind of just one of those things where, like, um, sometimes songs present themselves that, like, I and I think of someone and I'm like, oh shit, let me get this person on the song. But other than that, I, I never really forced the the collab. So some of like the people that I haven't collabed with in years, it's just like, just because like the that opportunity hasn't presented itself. Um, okay. But like, yeah. you're not the only person that said that. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice to hear. Also, um, one of the admins couldn't join, but he wanted to ask a question, so I'll just ask for him. Um, he said he wanted to ask uh, how to make music without being insecure, because he's he's very insecure about like his voice and stuff. Um. So the question is, is how to make music without being insecure. Yeah, just kind of like letting yourself go. With the music yeah that's a, i mean that's a tough question that's like a very loaded question but yeah I, I think to a degree there's always a level of insecurity that goes with releasing uh art you know that's like personal to you yeah so, uh, i think it's not necessarily about eliminating it but more about like harnessing it and focusing more on just like the art because mm -hmm. it's, right. very, it's very vulnerable like dropping music dropping Whatever you do, putting it into the world, especially now, people would really mean. It's mm -hmm. vulnerable, but kind of got just trust in the vision. All right. Um, nice, nice. Thank you for the thank you for answering the questions. Um, of course. See. Pace speak. So now I'll just give I'll just give the person the speak command. All right. You should be able to speak now. Um, hello, can you hear me? Oh yeah. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. We can hear you. okay. Um. Well, I just want to start off. You know, I'm a really big fan, and um, been listening to you for a while now. I'm kind of starstruck right now. This is actually kind of crazy, but uh, I'm actually a young artist myself. I started releasing about six months ago, and I'm, I'm pretty much growing a fan base. And I was just wondering, like, if you had any tips for, I guess, more exposure and more, um, ways to kind of get my music more out there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Word, what's your name? Uh, I go by Benzie. Benzie, cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's always tough to give people um, like specific advice on music careers just because everyone's so different. Everyone's journey is going to be so different. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Like most of the advice, I'd have to like get to know you to give you like specific advice. But generally speaking, I, I would say try to stay true to uh, what you want to do. It'll provide you the most like long-term happiness, sort of like, you know, um, yeah. serenity, just like making the type of music that you want to make and being true to who you are. And if that leads to success, then that's great. If not, it kind of is what it is. Right, right. Um, yeah, man. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Dope. All right, cool. So let's uh, go on to the next person. Let's see. I'll do yup, 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 because they they wanted to ask a question. Pace. There we go. Okay. You should be able to talk now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can Hello. hear you. Okay, cool. Hey, excuse me. Uh... Long time fan, been listening to you, to you since like uh, about like 2016. And uh, I was just looking at your uh, coming up merch drop, and I, I was just looking at like the hoodie and stuff. And uh, I just noticed that on like one of the sleeves it said uh, exhibit A, B, and C. And I just wanted to know what that meant because I know like A was a martini, B was like a butterfly knife, and like C looked like a crumpled up receipt. And I just wanted to know what like that represented. Oh, um. 
Yeah, it was, I mean, it's just, uh, <clears throat> the song Pro Professional by Decision Maker is just a song that I'm kind of going through. <clears throat> Excuse me, bro. It's a song where I'm kind of going through some of the shit that, that uh, I've been through the last five or six years. And um, those were a couple things that, the designer, his name is Faisal, Mat uh, Faisal Matin, Matin. Um, those are just a couple of things that we came up that were representative of uh, the last five years of my life, I guess. That makes sense. Nice. Gotcha. Yeah, I got a hoodie on the way, man, so I'm excited for that to come in. Which hoodie did you get? Uh, it was like the blue one. Fire. It was, yeah, I can't wait. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Keep your, keep your head up, man. Keep dropping some music and me and my homies. What's your name again? Down to listen. Oh, my name's Shane. I'm from Vegas. Shane, cool. Appreciate it. All right. Cool. Let's go to the next person. I'll try out. Let's see if Alyssa, it works for Alyssa now. Oh, cool. It does. Okay, it works? Yeah. Sweet. All right. I'm like kind of shook right now to even be like talking to you, but um, I got to see you in Nashville and it was like so amazing. And I was just wondering um, what's your favorite song to perform and why? Hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Uh, my favorite song to perform, um, it really just varies. There, there's, I can give you like one answer to that, but it kind of just varies <clears throat> depending on like, you know, how the crowd at that specific show is responding and things like that. But um, do you there is always fun. It's usually a good response. What else? Wait. 2006 is lit. It, it really depends, you know, because sometimes like I'll play, I'll play a song and you know, Utah that goes off crazy and then I'll play a song in New York that doesn't hit the same way. Yeah. Do you have like a favorite like location that you go back to every time? Other than like your hometown, obviously. Uh, um I like Minneapolis city. Good Sweet. shows. All right, cool. Um let's see. All right. You can go into correct. All right. Uh so, all right, I'm going to try not to ramble here because, you know, I'm a, I'm a uh, it goes without saying, very big fan. I actually met you in uh, Boston for the free Skizzy tour. And that was, you know, one of, just one of the fucking highlights of my year. And that was my first year of college. So, you know, kind of a yeah, big thing. But anyways, uh, so your most recent song, or second most recent song, uh, PBDM. First of all, amazing. One of my favorite songs already in your entire discography. And I feel like, you know, I relate to it. Uh, a lot or at least my interpretation of the lyrics because right now I'm uh I'm, I'm going through a breakup and you know a, a big part of that for why it happened was uh sort of me kind of taking taking her for granted so like the lyrics specifically like you know I know I broke your heart but I love you regardless like that sort of thing where you know making bad decisions I was just wondering um first uh you know like when it comes to that sort of thing, like how, cause you've been through breakups and stuff like that. Like, how do you move on? Like what's one of the, like, how do you get through that sort of stuff? And then my second question is a little bit less, you know, deep, I guess. And it's just that if you have a favorite strain of weed, what is it? Genuinely very interested in that. But yeah, just, you know, how do you move on from, you know, feeling guilty, fucking things up in, in relationships and uh, yeah, favorite strain of weed. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Nice to meet you as well. Um, man, I would just say you got to just keep living life. You got to meet new women. Uh, or if you're if you're a young lady, you got to meet new guys, just meet new people, have new experiences, grow. Uh, keep it moving, you know. As far as the weed strain, uh, I wouldn't say I have a particular favorite strain. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you. It's great talking to you. All right. Nice let's go to the uh, next person. All right. Should be able to speak now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Big fan. Um, just want to let know uh, what sets this upcoming album apart from stuff you've done in the past. Um, it's just you know, it's just where I'm at right now. So the stuff I did in the past, the stuff I did in the past. You know, this is the stuff I'm on now. Twenty twenty one skiz. Um, it's a different version of myself, you know, so I think I'm better personally, but 
obviously, you know, I'm not the, not the judge of that shit, but um, it's just a collection of songs that I really, I really like that are really true to me. Um, I got back in with uh, Michael Keenan after the last album I didn't do with him. And we got back together. We made this whole album. Um, we were both in a really good space creatively. And um, I can stand behind these songs. Super proud of them. I hope everybody likes them. Oh, thank you. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to unmute uh, Psycho now. Okay. Should be able to speak. Oh, I got push talk on. Oh, so okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So, um, I met you in Dallas uh, for the Free Season Mars tour, and I did the, we did the VIP thing, and it was the acoustic set. And so, I was wondering uh, if you're ever gonna release uh, the acoustic version of Girl on the Train. Well, Girl on the Train kind of is an acoustic version, you know. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's... I really felt the guitar, though. Like, the guitar and just your voice, you know? It's like you're talking about completely stripped down. Yeah, Maybe. Stripped acoustic. Maybe one day I will. You should have. It was, honestly, I felt it. <laughs> nice to meet yeah. you, bro. All right. Um, try whiskey toast. Okay. Uh, should be able to speak. Hello? Hello? Yep. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh. Uh, hi, Skiz. Um, longtime fan. Um, and actually, you dropped a slow dance on my 19th last week, so that was like really cool. Um, two questions for you. Uh, one, how did you feel that you were ready to come back after those two years for the Are You OK EP? And then second thing is I'm actually restoring this uh, 55 Chevy pickup. Um, I was wondering maybe like on the license plate, I could just put like Skizzy or something, something like a tribute. That's cool. Uh, what was the first question? I'm sorry, bro. Oh, uh, how did you like know like you were kind of like ready to come back into the game with the Are You OK uh, EP after like two years? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure I really knew I was ready. I just just wanted to drop music, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm not yeah. sure. I guess what I'm saying is I'm not sure there, there was that much thought that went behind it. It was just oh, like... Yeah. You know, I was like dealing with personal shit and then I, but I was always making music throughout that time. Yeah. Like I was in the studio and shit and um, never stopped making music. And then I, you know, I just, I actually was, had an album ready and then we decided to like split it up into two projects. The second project kind of blended into Free Skizzy Mars, but whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I guess what I'm saying is I, I don't think I like was like, yo, I'm ready. I just was like, fuck it. I got to put music out for two years. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you on that. Okay, KVM. Yeah, sure, I can put you in. Okay, should be able to speak. Can you hear me? Yep. Cool. Hey, Skiz, uh, big fan of yours. Uh, I've been listening to you since like back in the day, like Pace, Phases, all that stuff. Um, yeah, some real bangers on those albums. Um, I just wanted to ask you what what do you think was your most um challenging project or ep or mixtape to put out and why um challenging I, I wouldn't necessarily categorize any of them as challenging to put out you know but the one that was most uh like the least fun to make i guess you could say um yeah honestly brother i haven't had any like any projects that have been like not fun to uh my last I guess album I just like sorry go ahead no go ahead i i guess i just meant like uh which the whichever one that took like the most time and uh energy to really like you put in um the most energy into it gotcha um the most energy yeah i'm really trying to answer this accurate accurately i want to say um probably alone together okay Great so album. far up to up to this point, alone together was like uh it was delayed a few times. <clears throat> I don't know if people remember that, but it was actually delayed like three times, and I was just constantly like adding shit to it, you know, yeah, so yeah, I'd probably say that one cool, hey, thanks for uh taking the time to do this. really appreciate yeah. it, sure all right, cool, um yeah.
Okay. Oh, um, let's go to G Man. Okay. Should be able to speak. Yeah, what's good? Hello? Yep, I can hear you. Oh, where? Uh my question was was slow dance uh like put out for a special somebody or was that just something you were vibing with? It's just a vibe overall. True, true. It's a big vibe. Appreciate you. Yo, Skiz, a uh, big fan actually named my cat after you. Uh, Colors was the first song I heard. Um, do you talk to any of the FaZe or Sore guys? Because I know a lot of your fans found out about you about that way. Um, dude, honestly, what, what's the second thing? FaZe and, and who? The FaZe and Sore guys. So I know like you have interactions with Pomage on Twitter. FaZe yeah. Pomage. Yeah, yeah, what's Soar? I don't even know what Soar is. Okay, so Soaring in Style was the first uh, montage, like, I heard your song on Colors. Yeah. Uh, they were, like, a team that was, like, FaZe uh, back in, like, 2013, 2012. Okay, cool, yeah, 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 it um, right, I didn't thanks, even know. Man. I didn't even know about that. Um, but, yeah, no, to answer your question, dude, I, uh, yeah, I'm cool with, like, a couple of the FaZe guys, like, Banks, uh, All right. Pomage and shit, they're, like, they're supporters of the music. Supporters of theirs. Oh yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Let's get to the next person. Um Enver. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> hey Luros, it looks like I still have talking powers oh, shoot. Shit over me. Cool if I jump in. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Hey. Yeah, what up, Skiz? Uh big fan, obviously, like everybody here. Uh, I saw you open for G Easy back in uh, twenty thirteen in Orlando. It was probably my favorite show to date. Seen you a couple times since then, but I was just wondering if you had or or knew of any, um, you know, plans coming up to um, start touring again. You know, we're we're kind of opening up down here in, in like Texas and Florida, so I didn't know if if you've heard anything about live shows being a thing soon. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, whenever they allow me to tour, I'm back on the road. Cool. Good deal. Yeah, I actually did a show in Austin like two weeks ago, but it was like a private thing. Oh damn! Um, so the starting to like book people and should i have a show in utah like in a couple weeks private thing but nice nice yeah i saw you in austin too that was a great venue a couple years back so good deal i appreciate it excited to see you back in uh, in florida soon hopefully yeah me too can't wait enver just type in chat if you um oh shit i'm out oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're up. <laughs> oh i'm sorry bro i'm studying it's all good it's all good it's all good uh just big fan i've been fucking with you since like i was in high school 2014 so I kind of grew up with your music, and I just fuck with it. I keep you. I hope you keep doing, uh, doing your thing. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Nothing but love. All right, thank cool. you, sir. Um, soon intended. Yes. Yo, Skiz, what's up? Uh, my name's Dean. I uh, just wanted to ask, what was the inspiration for uh, my personal favorite, uh, Greedy? Hey, what's up, man? Um, the inspiration for Greedy was, um, man, just like overall experiences. You know, most of the songs I write about life are just like overall experiences. They're not necessarily just one. It's like, I'll write a song about three people that I dated or fucking whatever. So um just headspace wise, I was in LA. I was I was uh working with Michael Keenan in West Hollywood. And uh we were just vibing pretty hard. We made two thousand six and greedy, I think, in like a day or two or some shit like that. So I was just in my in my bag. I don't really remember exactly what I was inspired by, but it was a vibe for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, certified bop. Thanks a lot. All right. Let's go to the next person. Um, Dayton. Hello. Is it good? Oh, yep. There we go. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, so I was just wondering. I'm from South of Chicago. Name's Dayton. Um, but when you're feeling down, like, what other things in music do you do to like help you feel better and shit? Um, man, you get outside, man, you know, you try to get outside, try to get active. Um, 
sometimes it's like the opposite of that. Try to meditate, take it slow. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, that's about it. Watch some fucking sports. I don't know. What should I? What should I do? All right. Cool. 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 All right. Hold on, let me just add him. Let me just give him back his other roles quickly. He's a production. Okay. Um, Theology. He's the next person in line. Yeah, should be able to talk. Can you? Yep, we can hear you. Uh, yeah, what's up, Skiz? I'm a big fan. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, like, um, what's like an artist you really want to collaborate with? Um, what's up, dude? Uh, an artist I really want to collaborate with. Um, the LCD sound system. Say that. Cool. Um, let's see. Hold on a sec. Um, apologetic. Let's see if I can get you in there. Yeah, I'll get you in the queue. Okay. Should be able to talk. Cool. Uh, hey, Skizzy. Uh, yeah, I saw you in Toronto in 2016. That was a, a fun show. Come back to Toronto sometime soon. Uh, I was just curious how like you decide on singles for your albums. Like, is that is that something you decide? Is that something like you and the team decide? And kind of how has that process changed over time? Yeah, it's definitely me and the team. Uh, sort of collective decision, but it's never been a struggle. As long as I can remember, it's always just kind of like to us sometimes the order is a bit a bit tricky but um in my experience it always just presents itself it always just kind of makes a lot of sense approaching when i should release shit like the order i should release it, it in so with this album it was like i wanted to drop professional bad decision maker first because it was like sort of a very like poor skizzy song for like original fans and it sounded like early shit and then drop this one and the next one is it was very um strategic but it was like also very obvious sweet thanks man all right cool 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 oh hannah let's get hannah in here should be able to speak hi um big fan um i listen to your music a lot and i was wondering what got you into music and what or who inspires you um, I think I was just always in, into music growing up. I don't remember exactly what was the first thing. <clears throat> Maybe there's some like history of it in my family and shit, but um, as long as I can remember, I was just really into music on the consumer side, and then eventually started like a natural progression. I started writing my own music. Um, as far as like who inspires me, uh, all types of people, like my family especially, and then people that go out and get it every day. I used to get inspired by people that were like really rich and shit when I was younger, but now it's just people that go out and like fulfill their responsibilities and um, are like stand up people. All right, cool. Let's see, who's I gonna go to next? Oh yeah, Alan. Okay. All right, uh, should be able to speak? Yeah. Hey, Skizzy, uh, big fan. I was just wondering what your favorite song was off. I can't take me anywhere. My favorite song off of the project is uh, Talk is Cheap. Cool, that's my favorite too, actually. All right. Um, yeah, I can put uh, put Busy in here. Should be able to speak? I'm here. Okay. Can Ask you hear question. me? Yep. Oh, my question is, um, Skizzy, where would you like to be in five years from now? Um, the deep one. You know, I don't know. I, I guess there, there's like a couple um, answers to that. One is like physically, and then the other is like okay. Where so, would I like to be? let's say, where would you like to be professionally, yeah. and uh, I guess mentally? Yeah um professionally i just like to be in a place where um, you know there's stability like i've been blessed with that um in my career it's like i've been actually making music for a long time um although i'm not that old and 
kind of a weird place to be. Um, but I've been blessed with like stability and just like, you know, a level of longevity that I'd like to continue to the next five years. Um, it's been a really difficult time for anyone in the last year. Um, how has that affected you? The okay, yeah. COVID-19. Okay, after that, yes, yeah, it's just one question per person. Oh, sorry. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. a question though. I mean, it's, um, it's affected me in a lot of ways. I was um, in California and I was like separated from my family. Who's all, they're all in New York. They're all on the East Coast for the most part. And that was kind of driving me crazy, that separation. I was getting kind of tired of living in LA for other reasons. Um, so I uh -huh. decided to actually move back to the East Coast. Um, so that was a big like sort of life change <clears throat> that affected my music as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was just it was just kind of weird not seeing people and shit. But um, I think I, I maintained a, a decent level of like serenity throughout it, throughout it all. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Let's go to add. Okay, Loco, you want to be added? All right, cool. Should be able to talk. Hello. Yep, I can hear. Yeah. You. All right, sweet. So I got a question, man. Do you and Cam B can still talk? You guys ever plan on making any other music in the future? Maybe. That's... I don't know. We don't talk really, to be honest with you. Gotcha. Um, but like, we're cool though. Like, cool guy. Yeah. Man. Thank you, Skiz. Yeah, bro. Thank you. All right. So if you guys have like text things, you don't want to like speak to him, but you want to ask something over text, you can just put it in general. So someone just asked, um, here, I'll read it. He said, yo, Skiz, don't have my mic, but if we, if you get around to it, when you said maybe if we loved ourselves, it wouldn't be so hard to love each other on your track, Numb, uh, was and has been, oh, it's, it's been so relevant to my growth as a person. Thank you. Okay. So he was just, he was just Comment. thanking you. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Cool. 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 Let's keep going now. Um, okay. I think Palm Trees wants to talk. Hey, yeah. can you hear me? Cool. Yep. Hey, Skizzy. Been a big fan since like 2013. Um, so I've kind of grown up listening to your music and just wondering um, how much longer I have to keep waiting for new songs and what your plans are after you're done with music. Um, what do you mean as far as waiting for new songs? As far as the album? Uh, I just mean. How much longer do you plan on uh, continuing to make music? Oh, um, I don't know, bro. I mean, oh, I, I don't have any plans on stopping. I'll put it that way. You know, like I'm still young and um, I think I'm getting better at making music, which is most important. As long as people continue to want to hear like what I'm making, as long as there's demand, I'm going to make music. Um, so I don't, I don't see me stopping anytime soon. What was the other question, dude? Uh, the second question was, what are your plans when you're done making music? When I'm done making music, um, I would like to transition into um, more of like a behind the scenes role in the music industry, business side of things, start signing artists. And I want to bring back an element of artist development that I've seen lacking in the music industry and just kind of help people, um, help artists reach their potential, if you will. All right. That's cool. dope, man. Keep up the great work. Yeah. Thanks, man. Full streak. Have you taught? Have you asked a question yet? Sorry. No, I didn't have a question, but since I'm on here, I'll just I'll ask something just for the sake of it. Uh, what's the best place to get a slice of pizza in New York? Um, man, there's there's, some, there's like a million places. Uh, I guess uh, one one that I like is is called Sal and Carmine's. Sal and Carmine's, but there's so many, bro. It's a contentious topic. All right, yeah, I'm from New York. I'm just wondering what your thought was. Thank you. All right, it's your cool, favorite spot. Cool. It's your favorite spot, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm from upstate. I actually don't go to the city a lot. I'm from Syracuse, but true. Um, there was someone who asked. Oh, QB Jones. Let's see. Okay, you should be able to speak now. Hey, Skiz, can you hear me, man? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, uh, dude, I just want to let you know, much love from Minneapolis. I've been a fan for like ever. Um, <laughs> I'm fucking starstruck right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, I just want to let you know, I saw you at the Fauche Tower in Minneapolis, and it was like such a personal show, and we were vibing. Um, uh, it was just such a fucking vibe, man. We were front row. Shawai was right next to us. Um, I just want to let you know that was a bomb-ass night. And um, I also have a question kind of about 
like your marketing style. I find it super interesting how you're not kind of super out there. I mean, I've, as of recently, you've been a little bit more pushing your stuff, but um, I guess what I'm wondering is like, you keep it very chill, like on social medias and stuff. And um, I know I've heard you, I've heard you address it before, um, but what made you decide not to be like that typical corny artist that pushes everything too hard? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, don't know, I, I just, it's just not in my, my personality. There's a couple of reasons. Like one is like my personality is really laid back. Like anyone that's around me knows that. So I start to feel weird if I push, if I, if I, if I promote shit too much, like it just feels Definitely. not like skiz. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I'm all for promoting music. Like if I fuck with one of the songs that I made and I'm releasing it, like I want the most people to hear it. For sure. Um, and when you don't have like the powers that be on your side, like a lot of the shit that I think you're talking about is like artists that are on major labels, maybe with a lot of money behind them and shit. And um, there's just a ton of promotion. But True. with me, you know, I'm an independent artist. There's like not a lot of money behind me outside of my money. And definitely. Um, and uh you know it's just more of an organic thing so like the only the only way you're gonna hear about the new skizzy song is from skizzy but or your, or your homie that like fucks with skizzy you know what i mean but it's not like yeah. um but i like it that way bro i like that shit so yeah For bro sure. i guess at the end of the day it's just like it's my personality type to just like be low-key let the music talk and just kind of stay away from it. Well, man, I think that's so dope, and I really appreciate you talking to me and taking the time to do the AMA and doing this is really tight, man. I really appreciate you, and you've influenced my life and my music a ton, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thanks, man. Yep. Cool, Take cool, care. Cool. Oh, someone just um, asked here. We'll we'll get two more. We'll get like a few more questions in. Uh, someone asked how you got your name, Skizzy Mars. Uh, it, it was just something that like kind of came around in high school. Um. Oh. It's like it's really hard to even trace back. Like I can't even really tell you where it came from, but it was some shit that like my friends called me in high school, and and then once I dropped the first song, things started moving, and I thought about changing it, but it just was sort of it just stuck, you know. Yeah, nice. Um, there was I think there was someone like earlier who asked about um for like the songs. We know that like the you uh, can't release, you can't put pace and uh, phases on Spotify, but like, are there any songs that you have that aren't um, that don't have samples that you're able to put on like Spotify, in like a bundle? Um, like for the for yeah. the SoundCloud singles and stuff like that, because I know right, like right. Everyone, everyone's like everyone raves about your like SoundCloud singles and shit. Right. Um, yeah, I'm actually working on that. I'm working on figure something out with that. Oh, nice. That, that, that are not. Uh... All right, cool. It's good to hear that. Good to hear that. Sweet, sweet. Um, let's see. Hats. Here. Should be able to speak. Can you hear me? Yep. Yo, what's up, Is How's it going, man? Yo. Um, my question is, uh, how would you say the industry right now is for producers or like someone trying to like be a producer in the industry? What should they do? Or like you know help. Yeah, yeah, honestly, dude, I don't. I, honestly, I don't know. Um, yeah. It's just like I'm not a producer, so I, I, I don't, don't want to give you like, I, I just don't like giving people shitty advice. Like I'll just I'd rather yeah. just tell them I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like I'm just I, I have no experience with that, you know. Um, but it does seem to be like an exciting time for producers. Like, um, there's just so much collaboration going on, and like there's so much like. There's people getting rich off YouTube beats and shit. Yeah, Seems who a good thing. Yeah. Who, who produced uh, your your new track, Slow Dance? Uh, Michael Keenan produced Michael Keenan and somebody named Byram. Is that like a co-production? Dope, dope. Situation. Yeah, I like uh, his, I like Michael Keenan's production though. But all right, man, appreciate it, dude. All right, cool. Um, yeah. so let's do. We'll do one more question. Um, since it's like seven, it's eight forty-five so, or eight forty-seven, so we're like a few minutes past. But um, let's see. They said, "Yo, Susie, my my mic sucks too." Here goes my question: How hard was it to drop out of college to pursue your music career? How did you deal with uh fear and uncertainty during those times? Much love from Portugal, man. Love, bro. Um, you know, it wasn't really that wasn't that difficult. Um. 
because I, I didn't drop out until I had come into some money. Um, mm. You know, my parents were like very, I grew up in an environment that was very much like college, 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 like mm. degree, job. And my parents weren't about to let me like just drop out of school, like on a whim. So, you know, I signed a, I said, signed like a, a deal and made some money and, and then I dropped out. So luckily there wasn't that much fear. There wasn't that much like uncertainty. It was just kind of like, as soon as I dropped out, I was like, get after it. All right, cool, cool. Um, so I think that that's going to conclude the Q&A. It was super cool, like having you talk to everyone because I know you have very passionate fans and they're really excited to ask you questions just about your music and your life. And um, yeah, thanks, man. Really, really appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. All right. Have a good day, man.